You will save a lot on subscription fees and even though you of course need to pay for the hardware yourself for new drives, bigger drives or like stuff like that. In the long term, it's highly likely, at least in my mind, that this will be a way cheaper. Before we get started, if you want to see all my videos about the Amber Pro NAS and just type in Chris Viral Amber Pro NAS in the YouTube search, hit enter and you will find tons and tons of videos. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday in our day, in our chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is a free alternative to Dropbox and to Google Drive with unlimited storage. Well, we will get to that, so let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews are right here. Watch them all, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. On one hand, this is a product review because I will talk about the Amber Pro NAS in the process, but this is also a DIY project and you know what I mean. Yeah, doesn't matter. Dropbox is a known entity out there and Google Drive even more probably. Also Microsoft OneDrive, of course, but all of these have two drawbacks essentially first of all you don't have unlimited storage you need to pay for more so first drawback is it will cost money or actually a subscription fee which is the worst <laughs> because it's a reoccurring expenditure secondly it's out there in the cloud and these can get hacked even though the security standards are fairly high things like that can happen and yeah that's a second downside now there are obvious downsides to self-hosting and nextcloud the free alternative to this is self-hosting essentially so if someone breaks into your home or something like that and steals your complete device and you have no backup in another sit, uh, location then you will lose everything it's basically worse than getting hacked also if your house burns down or something crazy like that so there are a few things that you need to keep in mind okay first of all the program is called nextcloud it's an open source project and you can easily install this in the form of a docker container on the ember pro nest and the two pros diametrical to the other one to the other <laughs> cons is first of all you have basically unlimited data because you can simply upgrade with new hard drives. Secondly, there is no reoccurring fee. Just think about it if that's something for you or not. But in the long term, you will save a lot on subscription fees. And even though you of course need to pay for the hardware yourself for new drives, bigger drives or like stuff like that. In the long term, it's highly likely, at least in my mind that this will be a way cheaper than paying this stupid subscription fee every month so if you're a diy guy like me can highly recommend it but don't forget to back up your data and nevertheless maybe think about encryption stuff and about backup locations like different locations physical locations anyways it's constantly getting developed there are apps for windows for mac probably i assume and yeah it's it's Oh, I love it. My Dropbox was just one gigabyte and that's ridiculous. One gigabyte is just way too less. I think one terabyte would be a good sweet spot or at least 100 gigabytes. One terabyte is maybe maybe a little bit crazy. <laughs> Anyways, in my next vlog, I will get to another Docker container installation. You can check it out right here, how to install Home Assistant. And yeah, that's it for this one. Guess I will see you there. Smash the like button. The way you can smash Dropbox, Google Assistant, OneDrive, all of these cloud services with your Amber Pro device. Bang the bell like crap to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and that's it for today i will see you tomorrow <laughs>